Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. Episode number 20 of a trip to the thrift today and a special day because we have to announce our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Firstly, a massive thank you for everyone that entered into the draw. We got over 90 entries, over 500 views on the video and over 100 likes as well. So I really just can't thank you enough. It was so nice to sit back and read your kind words throughout the week. It's incredibly humbling and it motivates me to keep making videos. So a massive thank you from me to you. Huge episode today, no different to any other trip to the thrift. I've got to get out to four to five op shops. I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. I'm gonna show you everything that I pick up in today's haul and hopefully you can go and make the same sort of profit, find that same sort of item. That's why I do these videos, guys. Uh, if you're into it by any means, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Massive episode today. We're right here at the first op shop, so we may as well get into it. Not a bad start, guys. I actually jumped into a second op shop. Did you see that in the edit? Or is my editing just getting a little bit better? No, my editing needs a lot of work. Um, but we managed to find a few good things. Um, found the vans, guys. When you find vans like this in such great condition, have a look at the soles on those. You could walk into a city beach surf outlet and buy them for 100. Uh, we've grabbed them here today for 10. And uh, I found a pair of black as well. No different as well. The soles are great. Uh, they were eight. So we're in for two pairs of vans for $18. And I really do think that they will flip um, pretty much for about $35 to $40 each. So let's say 80 bucks, 18 into 80 for the vans, a great result. Um, now guys, I had a really good win with the Vistla board shorts uh, last week. Uh, they sold for about $40 and I found the brand Vistla again. So really stoked, two weeks in a row I've found this brand. Um, it's gone on to sell very well for me in a very quick, uh, fast amount of time. So these were picked up today for just $6 and I'm gonna go for $40 again. They're not in as good a condition as the ones last week, but I'm just gonna give 40 free posts to go and we'll just see how we go. Um, I'm also trying out a brand new brand today. The comps weren't talking to me at all on eBay, but I just think the brand Analog is a pretty good brand to get your hands on. Brand Analog, there it is there. Um, so Analog board shorts. These are in really good condition. It was the Waikiki Beach um, pattern and skyline that were on these board shorts. So Waikiki Beach, Hawaii. Uh, they looked really cool. Great color pattern. They were in great condition. I've paid $7. I'm gonna go for 30 to 35 on those and just see how we go. You don't always need to rely on the comps. Sometimes you just have to go on gut feel. And uh, I also found the Nautica, the Nautica extra large uh, polo shirt as well. Um, so this one was in very good condition, a really nice logo on it. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. Love the extra large size on this one as well. The blue stripe color pattern, that will sell incredibly fast. I'm thinking about $30 free post for that one. And I paid $5 for that polo. So incredibly cheap. Uh, I, I did go into the first stop shop of the day and I only came away with two items. I'll show you those as well. Uh, I found three CDs um, in the uh, Walt Disney. Um, this was the Walt Disney favorite songs for kids. So there's three volumes there. I've got volume one, two, and four. Couldn't find volume three, unfortunately. But the comps, wherever they are, I think I might put, well, I don't even know where I'm gonna put them today, maybe here. Um, 
the comps were very good on these. So I'm thinking maybe 30 bucks, $10 each, and I paid a dollar each. And then I also found the uh, footy boots as well. These are a pair of Adidas footy boots, all black, stealth black, look really cool. I only paid $6 for them uh, just here. So they will sell for about 30 bucks. They're by no means top end, but I really do think that we'll get some good value for these. So happy to grab those as well, the Adidas 18.1. Uh, uh, footy boots. So that was everything from our first little run. Let's get on to the next one, off shop number two, technically three, and hopefully we can pull away a few more items. hot out here guys um also hot in that op shop we did pretty damn well um all in all 55 dollars uh, was spent there as you can see we've got quite a number of items to go through here uh the first one that i'm going to kick things off with are the asics now i love my asics i talk about them quite a lot on this channel uh these were the gt 3000s um they're women's shoes and uh, i really do think that i'll be able to make a quick 35 on these uh, you've got the 1000 2000 and 3000 in the asics gt range so these are a little bit better than the average shoe that i've normally come across in the gt series you see a lot of one and two thousands so to find the three, we'll make 35 on that one. Um, I also found another anatomy book as well. So I found this, this was only $3. I bought a physio book series um, oh, about two, three weeks ago and I flipped it into $80. Sort of the medical um, science and health type books go really well. This is a hardcover. By all means, to be fair, it's in pretty ratty condition. Um, the hardcover here has actually got a bit of sticky tape on it. So I don't know exactly how well I'm gonna go with this. There were comps saying about $35 with free postage. So if it, even if I go $30 free postage, I think shipping on this will be about 10 bucks. So I'm looking at about a $20 sale and I've paid $3. So take some fees, maybe $15 buying this book. And I think if you're flipping books for you know, 15 bucks, it's well worth getting your hands on. Um, what else did we find? There's now a, a lot of good sort of clothing brands that I've not really seen a lot of, but I've always looking out for, um, and I was able to find it today. First of all, it was a pair of shorts, um, and these were the Tommy Bahamas. So a pair of Tommy Bahama shorts in really good condition. The cargo shorts sell very, very well, slightly longer leg on this one, uh, but they just, they just sell for $30, $35 pretty comfortably, and Tommy Bahama is a great brand to get your hands on. There it is there for you guys to see, Tommy Bahama. Um, but yeah, I think with a bit of, there's a bit of staining there on the belt, as you can see there. So I will need to sort of mention that when I put the listing up on eBay, but I still think that I'm going to be able to get $30 plus post. I'm going to list it up for $39.95 and I reckon I'll go pretty close to getting the full price. Um, I also found uh, G-Star as well. I've, I've found a little bit of G-Star lately. If you can find G-Star, it does go on to sell for some pretty good value. Uh, this one's a size large, just a navy blue. Uh, it's got a little logo here on it as well. So this was just a ripping find. I love finding G-Star because it is sought after. Uh, there's not a lot of it out there new at the moment. So you're gonna do pretty well if you're finding out, uh, if you're finding G-Star in the thrift. Uh, I also found, oh, I'll show you the singlets in a second. Not that I collect too many singlets. 
but I found these two shirts that you would have seen as well, which was super dry. Now, super dry is a very, very good quality brand make. It's actually that logo down there, super dry. Um, you want to be getting your hands on this. This was just um, a blue and uh, another one as well on the long sleeve. This one is size extra large now super dry can tend to be quite a small make it's a japanese brand and they do a lot of a smaller sizes so an extra large is still quite a smaller size so i always try to get as large as i possibly can when i'm buying super dry now fortunately these two shirts were both extra large i've paid eight dollars for them but i'm going to try and get 25 bucks each it'd be great if i can get 50 dollars for these and i've paid 16 dollars. so not too bad there also a couple of singlets. Now, if this was an extra large, it would have been a personal cop because I just think it looks very cool. Have a look at that. It says, what does it say? If in doubt, whip it out. And they've got the thumb sticking up. I kind of like that. Uh, and then there's the front little logo on it too. Look, I personally don't buy too many singlets because I just don't think the resale value is there. But uh, for a Barney Cools, which is a very good brand. I bought the Barney Cools there. It was $4. If I can sell it for $15.20, I'll be really happy. Another great brand to get your hands on as well is Oakley. And this was a singlet. Not that I buy too many of them, but that was just a very clean cut. Would have been $35, $40, $45 in the shops. And I found it for $4 in very good condition. And it's a size medium, which isn't the end of the world. So sort of a, a crew cut uh, tank top type look with the singlet there. I nicked that as well for four bucks. So some good brands in there, a lot of clothes, a pair of shoes, a book. Um, we've got a few things here now, $55 spent on all of that. We're looking at an average price of about $6, which is awesome. Um, let's move on to op shop number three. So far, we're building up quite a collection here, which is really, really good. And I do wanna tell you who has won the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So we're gonna to go to op shop number three and then I'm gonna let you know who's won the prize. So let's get on to the next one. was an unbelievably cheap op shop. Uh, a lot of incredibly cheap clothing. Uh, and I picked up a couple, probably ones that I wouldn't normally buy at the five, six, seven dollar price point. But because they were just $3, I, I just had to grab them. A um, couple of Ralph Lauren uh, button up shirts. The, the sizing was a little bit confusing based on the, the way that it looked. It looked a little smaller than what it was saying. I've got this one here and it's a, uh, it's a size large, but it doesn't look like a large. It looks a bit smaller to me. So I was having an airing as to whether or not it was a boys or a men's, um, but I'll have a look into it. It's still Ralph Lauren, so I had to grab that. Another Ralph Lauren polo shirt as well. This said the size 16 um, on it as well. So we've got a button up shirt there, Ralph Lauren, again, $3. Um, so you're just gonna be saying yes to that every single time. Ralph Lauren's obviously the brand that you wanna be buying. So good tag on that one. I found these really old school, with this tag, you know that it's quite old, the Nike athletic department. Um, so I found these Nike shorts. They were only, what, $3 as well, I think. Um, a nice little waist there. Plain, it's got a little logo there too for Nike. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I only paid three bucks for these. So again, probably wouldn't normally buy those, but at $3, you can't say no. Peace. And then I found these books as well. Now, Guinness World Records, some were better than others when I was comping them all. And I had a full decade worth, except for the year 2008, which I was shattered by. I've got nine out of 10 for a full decade, which would have been nice to sell as a bundled package and say you've got you know, 10 years worth of books, but I am missing one in the middle. Um, so out of all of them, there was one which was a 60th anniversary year that was going for about $18. I'll put them all up here for you to have a bit of a look at, but collectively, 
I, to be honest, maybe I'll do a, a five year series and then take the ones that are worth a little bit more out. It, it, I might bundle a few and sell a few individually. We'll have to see on the comps, but you'd like to think that at 50 cents each, I bought these for 50 cents each, so I've spent $4.50 for all of them. I reckon I could probably get about average of $10 a book. So $90 worth of uh, Guinness World Record hardcover books and I've spent $4.50. So could be potentially, yeah, there, there could be potentially about 80 bucks in the books, which is pretty crazy. So not a bad up shop, $15.50 spent on everything there in that one. Four pieces of clothing, nine books as well. Uh, not too bad so far today. The items have certainly started to slowly build up, which is great. Let's move on to the last op shop. But before we do, I want to announce the winner. The winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which is the entire haul that I had from last Thursday's trip to the thrift, which is about 32 items. I think there was about $100 spent. No, I spent $162 and I will ship it out to this person as well. So say collectively about $200 once it's shipped. And I think the resale value, my profit margin is about 72%. So I think the winner of this pack will win about $600 to $650 worth of resale value. So it's an awesome prize and it was so great to get so many entries. But the winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is Christy Thompson. Christy Thompson, and I have left a comment on your, uh, on your comment, Christy Thompson, to let you know that you are the winner. And if you could just simply send me a DM on Instagram, at the Aussie Flipper, we will get your postage sorted for you. So congratulations, thank you very much for the support. And as I touched on earlier, thank you very much for everyone's support of this channel. It's very, very much appreciated. And this is just a small token of me saying thanks, basically, for your support. So well done, Christy, awesome result there. Hopefully you can go and sell them all and make a hundred and, well, you've, you've got $160 worth of stock. Hopefully make about $600 worth there with all of that. Uh, let me know how you go. Send me a comment, uh, send me a DM and let me know. Uh, let's get off to the last op shop, guys. We've had a pretty good day so far. A lot of items purchased, but I am still wanting to get a couple more. So let's hope the last one of the day we can end it on a bang. Come on, guys, let's do it. Guys, there's no doubt about it. We have saved the best for last. I was able to find the Babolat tennis shoes. Now guys, these I've forked out $15 for. I passed on a few shoes. The Roshis, the red Roshis, I had to pass on those. But the Babolats, I thought I'd grab 15 bucks. I reckon I can flip these into about 60 in all honesty. The soles are very good on them. And the tennis shoes, especially Babolat, especially coming into Australian open season as well. It's a very timely purchase. I think these will go for quite a few. Um, I'm gonna aim for about the $60 mark. Um, I found Spyro, the old, who's played this game? Let me know in the comments below. Spyro PlayStation Original. Um, I reckon I'll get 20 to 30 bucks for that. I paid a dollar, if you can believe, just $1 uh, for the original Spyro. I used to play that every single day growing up. 
Um, and then I also found another piece of nostalgia. I found a clean set of Goosebump books. Um, this is the entire series, number one through, oh, they're all mixed up. I think there's about 20 books. I've got 20 Goosebump horror books. Uh, I used to read these as well growing up. It was a real nostalgia run in there today uh, for the last op shop of the day. So I paid 20, I, I, well, I paid the full amount, but I did see a comp, which I'll whack up here for you now, that was $60 plus 15 post. So they paid 75. I think I can get something similar for this guy. Awesome find. It was actually just as I was leaving, I spied him right at the very end. And can you believe, I found the 2008 Guinness Book Records. This is the one that I was missing for my decade long series. So now I've got literally 10 years worth of uh, Guinness World Record books. So super stoked with that. That was, um, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know how when you look for something and then suddenly it appears? It was certainly one of those moments for me. Um, I found this Vistla, again, another piece of Vistla. I've always found the board shorts, but I found the brand in a knitted, uh, just a, like a jumper, um, just a throw over sort of crew neck type jumper. Um, really nice one, that one, and it's an extra large. So if I don't get good money for it on eBay, I'm just gonna wear it in the winter time. Um, this was a great brand. This will sell for a lot. I did fork out a little bit. I've paid 12 bucks for it, which you know I wasn't too happy about, but I'll wear that myself, so I don't care. That would have been about $70, $80 in the shop, so I'm, I'm very happy with that buy. And then there were a few pieces. The Nautica board shorts are $10, and had to say no. $10 for me is just a little bit too much for board shorts, even though the Nautica brand is a great brand to be getting your hands on. What isn't too much for $10 though is this Anthony Davis Pelicans, uh, New Orleans Pelicans um, NBA jersey. An absolute steal. I know that he's gone to uh, the Lakers and he's doing great things and winning championships, but old school jerseys like this one still go for quite a few. That is an authentic. There is nothing fake about this one. I'm gonna push for 50. Um, I've also found some genuine, genuine, genuine um, Golden State Warriors. Now this one, this Nike one, that there, the material of this one is just so much better than the material of this one. This one is just a standard t-shirt. Um, we've got a size large in the Nike tee. So the, the standard Nike tee Golden State Warriors, I've paid the exact same, $10 each, which to be honest is a bit taxing, but I thought I'd have to grab it anyway. Um, but this one here was a lot better quality. Um, it was a better make, a better material. Don't know what the material's called, but you can just you can just tell that it's better. Um, actually, I know I paid $12 for this one, but I, I really do think I can get 30 for this. This is just a very quality make. And again, just like the Vistla, if it doesn't sell for good money, I'm gonna keep this one for myself as well. Uh, a couple of early Christmas presents for Matt. So that was cool. And then I think that was pretty much everything. I spent $88. I spent a little bit more than what I'd normally want to. Oh, I found these as well, sorry, the last one. Um, again, another piece of NBA uh, merchandise. It was the Clippers. The Clippers I grabbed, I couldn't say no to NBA merchandise because people love it over here in Australia. Um, as soon as they can get their hands on merch locally, they will. Um, so this is a size 15, 16 youth. I don't buy kids clothing, but I do buy NBA kids clothing. This is a genuine product, Adidas range, LA Clippers. Thank you very much. That'll go into $20 very, very easily. Um, so that's everything, guys. That was everything. I bought, eight, I spent $88 and I got a heap. It was really the best for last was left for this last op shop, op shop number four of the day. Uh, awesome. I'm actually still blown away that I found 2008 in the very next op shop. 10 years worth of, uh, of books in the Guinness World Records series. That's cool. I like that. Um, that's everything. Spyro is pretty cool too. I'm actually, I'm a little bit excited about this last haul. There was a lot of good stuff in this one. There's a lot of money to be made. Probably equally as much money as I've made in this op shop as I did with the other three, it feels like. So that was just, that, that, that was good. Um, okay, all done. Op shop number four, done and dusted. Um, I've now got a lot of items to go back and list and uh, I need to get into it this afternoon. I also need to edit this video because I do do this video in, in its entirety. I shoot it, edit it publish it all in the same day for you guys so you're getting it straight away so hopefully you have enjoyed this episode let me know in the comments if you have uh, let me know what type of videos you want me to see uh, see me doing moving forward as well because I love your suggestions and ideas I am doing videos for you so it would be nice to know what videos you want me to do um, so let me know in the comments below but that'll wrap it up to for today guys I much appreciate you tuning in and if you're still here now at the end of the video I can't thank you enough it means so so much to me and until Sunday for a what's sold video I will see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.